Hello, welcome to Firefox Fair. We're going to be getting some messages. I hope everybody's great. These are some of the decks we will be using. Okay. So let's begin. All right, let's first get a, um, a general message from the archetypes. I am on vacation right now, everybody, so just so you know, I'm at um, our home. We have a house in Florida. Okay, so what's coming in, please, angels and spirit guides? If this cuts out, I'm not sure how long um, this is going to record for, how much storage I have on this phone. The venom. So you may be dealing or in a toxic situation, so to speak. Or something about um, you need to be careful of is poisonous and not good for you. A situation with the hunter, you may be, this is at the bottom of the deck, you may be literally being hunted or you feel that way. The hunter, the hunted. Okay. Um, we have the, the gem at the bottom. All my information is on my page. If you'd like a personal reading, if you'd like to send me any donations, anything like that, um, gifts for the channel will help out greatly. We have the mystic. So whoever is fucking with you, you're obviously an earth angel, a chosen one. The mask, they are wearing many masks. Um, they clearly have to feed off of your energy because something about the situation is... Um, you know, making it seem as such that you aren't good enough, you aren't this, you aren't that. So it's really just kind of taking away from you. I'm just trying to get this, this right. Okay. Sorry. Okay. What else? Please for the spirit, Holy Spirit, Divine Spirit, Angels and Ascendants. Masters and Archangels, what messages from the highest light do we need to know and be aware of at this time for my viewers at this time? Okay. I will be giving a, um, a cow bone necklace, um, a random one away for a drawing. So please, we have until the weekend, um, Saturday or Sunday, I will be doing the, haven't decided what day yet, a drawing. So, um, Put the comment down below, um, Bone Necklace, if you'd like to have a chance to get into the drawing. I will actually go and show you one of the ones that I have. Um, okay. So this is um, one of the necklaces not the exact one I will be giving out, but I will be raffling out a real cow bone necklace from my channel. Shipping is included. Okay, we have the lover, the shapeshifter, eternal child, the nectar, the prayer, and the lover with the destroyer. Who is trying to destroy you and your crown? We have the siren at the bottom. Somebody who isn't awakened they may be stubborn or neglecting the call themselves we have caros they're not seeing beyond the veil the bigger picture to something we have the mother number one so you are um, a creator you could also be considered a destroyer and you are um, eternal light you have this mother essence about you you are a caregiver. See how that's a, the snake is coiled around that pearl, literally a pearl gemstone there. This is you, this is your aura. You are pure, you're whole. You may have went through a lot of trial, trial and error to get where you are going or where you need to be. There's another pearl in that picture. And we have the father. So now you are actually going to walk across that bridge because you are a shaman and healer, I feel like you're going to walk right into your person. The tear and the desert. With the storm under that. This is a beautiful card. 
of the forest. You may be a hedge witch, or a kitchen witch, a green witch. You may just be any type of shaman, healer, magician, wizard, goddess, god. I claim to be a goddess. Um, so on and so forth. So yes, um, we are going to use this deck right now, and then we're going to break it down. We're either going to use the Harmony Tarot, or we're going to use the Heaven on Earth. This is the Heaven on Earth, and this is the Harmony. Seven of Swords, yeah, the Nine of Pentacles. Somebody wants what you have, even if it's just spiritually. This is my other deck that I've had for a long time. Five of count so five of wands conflict. You are in the state of conflict. Five four three was just on the screen. Um, somebody could feel stuck. They need to get in a higher dimension. The number like the seven frequency. Um, out of feeling stuck, you need to transmute your energy, your pain, into um, some form of energy here, magic. You need to get out of this frequency. I'm hearing estrial, so estrial visions. You may have that tarot deck. You may be a reader yourself, or you just have big dreams and you want to. Um, you have big dreams for your life, for yourself, where you are going or where you want to go. Okay, what's coming in, please? Angels and spirit guides. Highest light. Highest light for my viewers. What are the messages for today that we need to know? We have the five of cups. Grief, sadness. Okay, there's that destroyer energy. Transmuting pain, sadness over what? Because you still have two cups that are still standing. We have the four of pentacles here. You could be considered abundant, holy. You could be somebody who works, this is a weird message, but um, hats, a hat fitter, or something to do with shoes and leather. Also a magician, I'm getting the energy of a magician. Okay. Seven of Swords. We're going to see somebody's cloak trick. So I might caption this video that you're going to see beyond the veil. You're going to see right into someone's heart who they really are. You're going to see the truth of the matter. You're going to exploit this person. Their hand, literally. You can, you're can. you going to be able to see their hand. We have the Knight of Pentacles, the Temperance, Queen of Pentacles. I actually found this chair, a bracelet today um, on the beach while playing volleyball. Isn't that funny? I wanted to cheer up. I was talking about it a couple days back ago. How I, with my products that I sell, when I start um, making signature like my brand and everything for the product, I want to have incorporate some type of cherub as the my signature. So we have the Queen of Pentacles, the Ace of Swords, the High Priestess, the Queen of Cups, the Knight of Pentacles, and the Hangman. We might get a little noise in the background if my nephew comes in. He's outside right now. I think playing basketball with the neighbors. But yeah, so if you hear anything, that's him. Ooh, the four of swords and the three of swords just flew out with the high priestess. Somebody or people that have been looking down at you are going to start to see your rise, your climb. You're going to take your power back. You are going to lay low for a little while until you can regain some of that energy, much needed energy back. Knight of Cups. Like I said, you could be walking right into your person for some of you. The Hermit, that card got a little wet. They could be a Virgo for some of you. A few cards got wet. It wouldn't be the first time that happened to my decks. <laughs> it actually um, adds character to them, I think. So we have the Page of Cups, another one that got chipped there. Six of Wands, you're going to have a victory, death, and the King of Pentacles. You're even going to call in other realms. I have this fairy book I've been reading, How to Meditate and Call Them In. And when people send dark energies to you, it's only, it shows the power and level that you're at, depending on the power of the frequency and what they're trying to uh, send your way, project spells, casting, all that. So that just means you can take their bad demons that they sent to you, you can claim them, you can take ownership, and you can actually gain power of those same demons that were sent to harm you, and you can actually revert that energy, transmute it, transject it, whatever you want to call it, 
and use those same demons and project them back onto whoever you feel like doing that to. The Hangman and the Eight of Cups. You're going to start making, I think, powerful moves, powerful energy calls. You're going to start, um, if you need to, work with deities or, or whoever to call that power into you to transmit it back to that Seven of Swords energy and the Three of Swords, whoever hurt and broke you, um, stepped on you. That's the truth because you're a high priestess. And you could even be in communication with your person at this time, too, as we speak. All right, let's get your person's energy who's moving towards you. We have the Empress at the bottom. That's your energy, or it could be your person's energy. That's very abundant. I think you guys, you and your person, have the same... Um, status you guys are a lot alike you get each other you get um spirituality the same you guys know a lot about that area and i think you both are going to live in a peaceful content world where that where spirituality is mainly the main projective of your background what you practice your beliefs and then you're going to create a world a dorm where people are going to have to step into your territory if they want to come to you instead of the other way around because you've actually built something solid from the ground up and you put a lot of time and work and effort into this and a lot of people can't didn't understand or couldn't see what you were doing that that you were climbing towards the top so that's why a lot of people 1141 is just on the screen so a lot of people are going to be blown blown back and taken away by the fact that you've overcome big challenges and you were conquering and putting People, demons, demonic, energy, psychic vampires. Demons can even be in the form of people. Um, like I said, you're going to put these people in their place. Queen of Cups, Magician, the King of Wands, and the Three of Pentacles. We have a Queen and two Kings. Don't miss the, the hangman in reverse is saying that you are not surrendering or budging to change something. So it might create um, missed opportunities or something about that situation, a loss of something if you don't take care of your possessions or yourself. So really need to do some introspection, some thinking. I'm hearing the word vertical, I don't know why. We have the Three of Cups, Strength, and the King of Cups. I know you guys missed me a day yesterday on my reading. Um, I'm sorry about that. I had to try and figure out a situation, my arrangement for my camera and what I was gonna use. So we're all good today. My other, I don't, I don't have a charger for my other phone. And we don't have um, internet here, so I have to use my phone, my actual phone. My business line. All right. So your their overall energy is the Three of Cups, Strength, and the King of Cups. Your person is also working with um, entities, energies. Um, they're... they're Controlling these wild forces, these wild things, the beasts, whatever you wish to call them with that strength card, literally taming that wild beast. Um, and they are also going to gain a lot of knowledge from you in the, in the process. I see a, a energy um, back and forth being converted back and forth, back and forth, like um, almost like energetic waves, like electric electricity. So take it how it resonates. If this isn't for you, leave it for someone who needs to hear it. Um, you may find a message for yourself. You may find a message in other of my videos. 14.04 on the clock. Okay, so number six upon the list for the overall between you guys, the energy. That's, like I just said, giving back and forth equally. Transmuting energy, pain into happiness, freedom something accessible that makes you feel good and alive inside and that you can access at any given point. You're really working on that right now. Queen of Swords, Justice, and the Two of Wands. We have the Seven of Cups at the bottom. All right, we're going to get um, what you don't see coming and then the advice. And then I'm going to clarify what you don't see coming, please, for my viewers at this time. Both of you guys, what you don't see coming. 
temperance, ruffles, waves. You're going to be having to find uh, solutions to maybe some temporary problems, setbacks, 1505 on the screen. That's toxic, that's patterns, that's double energy. Can't see your energy there. Moving, you guys are moving forward. Maybe if somebody was feeling unbalanced, they're going to find ways to be balanced again. We have the Hierophant and we have the Five of Pentacles. Feeling left out in the cold, bitter, freezing temperatures, um, poverty. And we also have King of Pentacles at the bottom. And now we're going to get, um, so what you don't see coming is you guys may have to go undergo more um, thermal cold, not physically maybe, but mentally some more challenges, but nothing like the five of wands energy, nothing like that type of conflict. I think this has to do more with money, trying to get yourself financially stable, like I said, so you can build from the ground up, maybe even move in together for some of you's. And like I said, you guys will be happy in the long run together. I really feel that way. Magician, Three of Pentacles, and the Death card. I feel like you guys are going to be upset. You're going to be happy. You're not going to have to listen to other people and telling you what to do. You can do as you please. Yeah, the Ten of Pentacles, and we have the Hierophant, or the Emperor at the bottom. Let's get one more. The Six of Cups. May even, for some of you, start a family or are dealing with kids, younger people. Seven of Pentacles, that's planting your seeds, that's getting out there, that's waiting for them to sprout, literally. That could be creating something also, like materially, you could be planting seeds, um, like physically. So we have the Seven of Swords at the bottom. All right, let's get your, we're going to clarify your, your energy. So we have the High Priestess at the bottom with the Ten of Cups. Beautiful cards. Beautiful cards. So you are going to be emotionally fulfilled. Why is the Five of Cups here with justice? This is the Harmony Tarot. If you're curious. So like I said, I'll be doing a cow necklace, a real bone cow necklace um, giveaway. Um, I will pull, put your name in the contest um, right down below, bone necklace. Um, for a giving, giveaway, I will be paying for the shipping and all of that. Um, I will pull the, do the drawing Saturday. Saturday or Sunday, depending on what day I get back. I get home the second, so... We'll see. What is the, why is the Five of Cups here for my viewers? Why is the Five of Cups here? I feel like you already have the answers deep with inside you already. That is key, important elements and pieces to the reason why you're in this energy. But is to be unknown still. The Queen of Cups is how to um, get back to where you need to be while dealing with the people and the energy that are creating this energy for you to begin with. We have the Queen of Swords coming out, maybe having other, these could be the energies representing air sign and water signs, Aquarius um, and Pisces. Five of Cups again, Queen of Pentacles, Four of Cups, that's a beautiful Four of Cups. Knight of Swords and the King of Wands, Aries energy, and Leo and Sagittarius. All right, so let's get the Four of Pentacles with the Eight of Wands at the bottom. What are you hanging on to, Collective? Five of Swords, grief. Nostalgia, maybe, if for some of you. Um, bitterness, envy. Five of Cups at the bottom. Sadness, broken heart. Let's get one more for that Four of Pentacles. All right, we got the King of Cups and Judgment coming out with Five of Pentacles at the bottom. So whoever, um, like I said, has been doing this to you behind the scenes is going to have karma or Judgment Day, okay? All right, let's get the Nine of Cups. There's the Nine of Cups here. 
I hope I'm hoping this makes sense to you guys, okay? I'm hoping it does. It sounds um like some it kind of sounds like my story right now too. Why is the nine of cups here? So in a world full of dead people, like people that are spiritually asleep, be the awoken one. Page of Wands, Six of Pentacles, Five of Wands, Ace of Wands, and the Two of Pentacles. You are Knight of Pentacles. You are evaluating um, your next moves carefully, very carefully. These are just beautiful cards. Give us like two, one or two cards, please, for the Nine of Cups. Let's clarify this. Two of Swords, like I said. Options, options, decisions, clarifying. Why is the Seven of Swords here? Eight of Swords. And then Tricky, we have Ace of Pentacles at the bottom. Why is the Four of Swords here? Why is the Four of Swords here for my viewers? Quiet! Six of Swords moving to smoother sailor waters. Smooth sailing waters. Like I said, you're going to gain your energy and your strength back at this time. You're going to regain all your energy that you need to be able to pick up the lack and make a decision. Could be based on finances or could just be based on like if you want to move or whatever the uh, case may be for you. Why is the Three of Swords here for my viewers? That's sadness, that's heartbreak. Um, and in some worst case scenarios, that could also be third party situations. Three, uh, Ten of Cups. Whew, I was going to say, that's the Three of Cups. That's definitely third party. But it's the Ten of Cups. That's what you're aiming for and reaching for the goal as in a relationship with the person on your mind closest to you. I feel like this person gets you emotionally very well. You guys click. Like I said, I feel like on um, the spirituality, you guys share a lot of the same similarities. Why is the Knight of Cups here? So this is the offer of love. Um, we also have the Hermit and the Page of Cups. So I don't know if it's somebody new and you're just figuring out, just getting into, like getting started with this person, talking wise. Um, and figuring out kind of just going with the flow, you know, letting it unfold naturally. So that's good. That's good. Good signs from the beginning, you know, from the start. That's, that means that the relationship is going to be better than intended and it's going to go along a lot better than but most we have the ton of wands it's carrying a burden um having baggage needing to drop that baggage down so you can rest and heal um or whatever needs to be done it doesn't have to be like mental baggage it could just be like overly worked or exhausted as well why is the hermit card here but i think you guys will figure it out as time goes on how to put the pieces to the puzzle together. Oh, we have the Five of Cups in reverse. All right. I don't get that card too often. So that could either be a really good thing or just as severe as the Five of Cups upright. It means a reunion is at hand. Perhaps an old friend will drop in. The outlook is hopeful. Beautiful, with the hangman at the bottom. Why is the Hermit card here? We have the Fool. There's that brand new fresh beginning. Taking your time. For some, maybe putting your eggs all in that basket. Others, maybe kind of holding back and just one at a time, sorting it out. Um, and just 
mainly going inward there and gaining the much needed knowledge that you need. That's the highlight of the Hermit card. Why is the Page of Cups here? Ace of Swords, Page of Wands. This is a young love energy I get here. You guys could be around the same age. And this is a passionate um, individual. Could be a fire sign. Like I said, could be an earth sign as well. We got Virgo energy out here, Scorpio. Uh, Gemini, Libra, Leo, Sagittarius, um, and Taurus energy all out here. Could be any sign. One more with the Page of Cups. What is this truth that you're going to be speaking? A message of truth. Queen of Pentacles. How you want to come together and collaborate maybe with this person. And like I said, move in together and start a brand new fresh beginning. And work as a team to get meet your goals. Whether that could be opening up a business for some of you who's working together. Entrepreneur. Or just supporting and lifting each other up mentally and emotionally. All right, let's get their energy. Why is the Six of Swords here? The world. They have completed many challenges. And they even, I think for some, close big chapters in their book. So they are ready to take a brand new, fresh leap of, and a beginning. Fresh leap of faith on you. Um, so that's a good sign. Two of Wands. They've waited for this. The time is now coming for this person and you. And the hangman. So all good signs, guys. Why is the hangman in reverse here? Three of pentacles. With the two of wands again at the bottom. That's also collaborating. They have that down here as well. Let's see if I can arrange this better. Okay. All right. Yeah, getting back out there again. Talking to people, getting the ball rolling. Why is the Eight of Cups in reverse? What is the Eight of Cups in reverse? Before I pull on it, I'm going to read it from the book. Projects are completed. You will reap the rewards of your diligence. Expect... Accept a party or a festive event. Or the cherry at the bottom. Why is the Eight of Cups here, Spirit? The Knight of Pentacles. To give you your wish fulfillment, I feel like, for most of you. For the Queen of Wands, we have the Two of Cups. That came out fast. Definitely a reunion here. King of Pentacles at the bottom. Why is the King of Swords here with the King of Wands? This could be their energy that they're in right now. They could. This could be just one person, but they are in their King of Swords and King of Wands energy. It doesn't have to be two different separate people. Take it how it resonates. Temperance in reverse. Ten of Pentacles. Okay, breaking. They're breaking free from something. Maybe the norm of society. Or if they have somebody they were dealing with in their life. Um, they may still be going, uh, struggling or having after the math after whatever they just went through that person say they have a kid yeah they're trying to also pick up the pieces the temperance in reverse two of pentacles let's get that temperance card in reverse meaning it says disharmony frustration people are working at cross purposes so really unsure of what you're doing where you're going or what yeah just people working Cross purposes, not for the same, not seeing eye to eye in the sun at the bottom. Why is the magician here? So 
What are they manifesting in their life? Why is the magician card here? I keep hearing you, four wands. They're manifesting you, maybe even a marriage. Okay. Death at the bottom, Scorpio energy. They have death in the last card. Why is the three of pentacles here? If this video resonates with you, feel free to drop a like. Um, you can share it or you can subscribe. Why is the three of pentacles here, please? Um, the lovers at the bottom, so I heard crossroads with the eight of pentacles. Crossroads maybe with work, something to do with work, or how they're going to maybe take on more money, how they're going to be more set financially. The lovers, page of swords, and the chariot, the eight of wands, and the page of cups. Four of swords, king of wands. Alright, why is the death card here? What are they cutting out of their life? What are they moving on from? I'm hearing stagnation, see? Stagnation, I mean. I don't think that's the word. Stagnation, see? Six of Pentacles. That, e that balance, that equilibrium here. Five of Pentacles. Let's get one more for that death card. Four cups. Being content, you know. Being happy where they're at in life. Making sure that they're taken care of. Their needs are met. Roof over their head. Magician. Bellies are fed. All right, let's get their overall energy. The High Priestess. And the Magician. Virgo and Gemini energy. Very um, spiritually intuitive as well. As you collective. Why is the, hold on, let me see what the overall was. Okay, the magician. I have so many cards out, I don't know. Let's get your overall energy. You have the eight of wands, the ace of swords, and the high priestess. Why is the eight of wands here? The Ace of Swords, the Emperor, Aries energy. I feel like you're going to reach right out to this person. You're going to take the bull right by the horns. And you're going to do and say what needs to be done here. Direct communication with the Page of Pentacles. Could be dealing with the Earth sign, like I said, the Chariot, Cancer energy, Three of Swords, and the Devil, Capricorn energy, and the Hermit, Virgo. What's this truth you're going to speak to them? Why is the Ace of Swords here? I think you're going to open up and express your feelings to them if they don't already know um, your cares and concerns for them. Maybe even for some how they make you feel. Page of Pentacles. <laughs> Seven of Swords at the bottom. Why is the High Priestess card here? Seven of Cups, because you can have anybody you wish, and you wish this person, this is your wish fulfillment. You guys are aligned spiritually, mentally, and maybe even physically for some, or it hasn't happened yet. All right, let's get their overall. They have the Temperance, the Hierophant, and the Five of Pentacles. As you know, they have the Three of Cups, the Strength, and the King of Cups. That was for the advice for what you don't see coming is the Eight of Swords, Ten of Pentacles, and the Six of Cups. And the overall between the both of these was the Six of Pentacles, Queen of Swords, Justice, and Two of Wands. So why is the Three of Cups here for your person's overall energy? Thirty-four forty. so time is standing still as we know it. Or for you guys, you guys, I feel like have already broken the ice. We have the moon that has to do with emotions. Pisces and um, 
Cancer energy also it has it was a full moon yesterday, so pay attention to the moon phases that then you'll know when the correct times to do certain things are. During full moon cycles is a good time um, when the energy is at its highest and charged to do spell work or manifestation. Manifesting. So for the strength, we have the three of cups. I almost feel like a victory with your person and partying or just celebrating your union. Your person will be speaking about you a lot. I feel like you guys now are going to be verbally speaking each other into manifestation. Why is the king of cups here? Death. Death and the six of wands. They're bringing forth their cup of love. Pay attention to the full moon, like I said, right there. Again. Victory here. Six of wands. Fire energy. You or they may have fire also in their chart. Let's get... Um, I want to clarify what you don't see coming. Why is the Eight of Swords here? With the Ten of Pentacles for what you don't see coming. Why is the Eight of Swords here? I feel like you get, I feel excitedness. Somebody may be proceeding with caution now, a little bit um, wearisome. We have the Hermit and the Page of Swords and the Knight of Cups at the bottom. Because maybe this person's been hurt in the past by words, verbally, with that Swords there energy, air. Hence why they're stuck in their head, or were. Why is the Ten of Pentacles here? I just heard it feels like a long time coming. Eight of Cups, Five of Cups in reverse. And the Ten of Pentacles. Again, laying something to rest. Um, coming to life, walking right into your person, bringing abundance or creating it together. Even flow, that even flow ebb energy I was feeling in the beginning there. Um, that people were trying to take from you will now be returned and returned from universe as a gift to you again. Even if they didn't succeed with it. Why is the, what's the five of the cups in reverse mean? A reunion is at hand. Perhaps an old friend will drop in. The outlook is hopeful. Okay, let's get, um, we have the nine of wands in the tower. And the six of wands again with the high priestess. Let's get the six of cups what you don't see coming. Five of Pentacles. Like I said, it might be a little slower, but it's it's happening. It's happening right now for you. Let's get um, the overall, and then we'll do... Oh, that was loud. The last three cards over here. Um, the advice. Six of Pentacles. Why is it here? Ace of Pentacles. Why is the Queen of Swords here? That's money, message concerning money. The Devil. This person, this Queen of Swords energy may be in the mix. Trying to stop the flow, like I said. Or interfere here. Or um, you are just dealing with still some patterns. You need to regain that toxic energy, get it back in line and in order, and... Um, like I said, um, take your power back and start pulling in those energies and knowing how to maneuver, direct it, transmute it, um, and drive it into the direction you want it to go in and getting your spiritual team on board with you, your spirits, and not because you want to, but because you know what you're doing and having power and courage in your, um, Having power in your power, <laughs> if that makes sense, and so on and so forth. King of Wands and the Hangman in reverse. So again, with the Justice. King of Wands. Being realistic and practical. The 
the hangman in reverse says unwillingness to make sacrifices, sacrifices made for the wrong reasons, and effort is required before the situation improves. With the Wheel of Fortune at the bottom, and the Three of Swords, and the Sun. All right, let's get the Two of Wands last card. The Sun, Knight of Cups, and the High Priestess. Seven of Pentacles at the bottom. You guys will reach your true ultimate destiny and or like your what you're um, trying to achieve and have a victory. We got the Knight of Cups, the High Priestess, and the Lovers. I really feel like this is a soulmate union. Your swords in reverse. You are healing. So is your person. All right, let's get the advice. What you don't no, what you don't see coming and the advice. Temperance, the Hierophant, and the Five of Pentacles. Okay, why is the Temperance card here? I'm using up all my cards. Six of Cups in reverse. This is breaking away from well no wonder the, the ducks in reverse. Alright, four pentacles too. This person I feel like is releasing an ex person they were dealing with or Letting go, healing, and releasing, um, mending, you know, that relationship that they just got out of. And hearing it could be broken for some of you, or just whatever pain or, like I said, residue and debris that's left over from that lingering is going to finally wash away and get cleared up. They're going to communicate, your person's going to communicate the differences with the their person, if they have a kid with them, say. And there's going to be nothing but clear communication from here on out with them and that person with the King of Swords, King of Wands, Temperance in Reverse, Two of Pentacles. So that's, I feel like that more than likely situation is going to get handled. Why is the Hierophant here? Especially if they were married to them and they divorced them with the Hierophant. So that's um, solid facts and paper that they're no longer, there's nothing there between them in this connection. Just strictly merely for the kids, if that's the, if this is your uh, situation you're reading. Why is the Hierophant here? Page of Cups. Yep, there's that couple left for you. And the King of Pentacles. Some of them, they could still just be communicating for the, like I said, the kids and the money if they have to pay child. Um, children support or anything like that that's the pentacles is all about representing the coin the money the material okay page of wands and nine of cups nine of pentacles independence and the high priestess in reverse at the bottom all right why is the five of pentacles here last card guys oh that came that flew out ace of cups at the bottom The Magician. Getting up out of that cold, dark situation they were in. Feeling lost or abandoned, they will they will feel that no more. With the Magician and the Ace of Cups at the bottom. With the Eight of Wands and the Nine of Swords. Well, that's it. That's all I have for you guys in this reading today. Thank you for joining me, like I said. Um, right below, if you want to get um, entered into the contest to... Um, be given a cow bone necklace from me. Um, I will cover the shipping expenses. Uh, I will do the raffle and we will have the answer by Sunday, Saturday or Sunday. So comment down below bone necklace. Thanks till next time. Take care. Sending love and light. Bye now.